Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the processes of diffusion and membrane flux. You know that molecules have thermal energy due to which they are in continuous motion. This motion is called thermal motion. One important effect of this thermal motion is the diffusion of substance. We define diffusion as the random thermal motion of molecules that results in their dispersion from the regions of higher concentration to the regions of lower concentration. Dear students, in cells, most of the traffic of, sub of substances takes place by diffusion. When a substance is more concentrated on one side of the membrane, there is a tendency for its movement from that side to the other side, where it is present in low concentration. However, membrane must be permeable to such, subs such movement. Agar membrane permeable nahi hogi, or ek substance ek side pe zyada hoga, to wo substance membrane me se diffuse nahi kar sakega. Is liye diffusion ke liye ye condition lazmi hai, ke membrane must be permeable to that substance. Dear students, we shall explain diffusion by taking an example of uptake of oxygen by the cell. You know that oxygen diffuses into the cell in diffused, in dissolved form. Jab oxygen cell may enter hoti hai, so it is readily taken up by the cell because of cellular respiration. Is utilization ki wajah se cell ke andar oxygen ki concentration kam ho jati hai. इसके मुकाबले में एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर फ्लुइड जो है जिसमें कंटीन्यूअसली सर्कुलेशन की वजह से ऑक्सीजन आ रही है वहां पे ऑक्सीजन की कंसंट्रेशन ज्यादा होती है सो इनसाइड द सेल कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज लो आउटसाइड द सेल कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज हाई सो ऑक्सीजन इन दोनों ऑक्सीजन के लेवल में हमें कंसंट्रेशन ग्रेडिएंट मिलता है अक्रॉस द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन सो ऑक्सीजन हैज अ टेंडेंसी टू मूव फ्रॉम extracellular fluid into the cell. Dear students, diffusion is a passive process. It occurs without the expense of chemical energy of ATP. It is the concentration gradient itself that acts as a source of potential energy and drives diffusion. However, rate of diffusion varies due to the permeability differences of various substances. Dear students, the rate of diffusion of a solute is calculated by Fick diffusion equation. This equation defines that the rate of diffusion that is delta Qs over delta T depends on the concentration gradient of the substance which is represented by delta Cs over delta X. The rate of diffusion also depends on the diffusion coefficient of the substance Ds which varies with the type and molecular weight of the substance and it also depends on the cross-sectional area A through which the substance moves through the membrane. Dear students, the amount of solute that passes through a unit area of the membrane every second in one direction is known as membrane flux. Membrane flux is represented by J and J is equal to delta Qs over delta T. If a diffusible solute occurs 
on both sides of a membrane it exhibits a flux in each direction flux in one direction is independent of the flux in opposite direction if influx and efflux that is flux into the cell and flux out of the cell are equal then the net flux is zero however if flux in one direction is greater than the other then there is a net flux and net flux is equal to the difference between the two fluxes